What's up guys, today let's take a look at how to defend the arm drag, okay, from the sit-up position. Common attack, right? So, first, what is the arm drag? I'm trying maybe to pass his guard, controlling his legs like this, he controls my wrist, cross my arm from the center line of my body, and he's going to start coming up, usually going to my back, of course. Okay, so, there are, we're going to see four different defenses, but they are all super with a short window, okay, because the arm drag is a fast move, okay, so let's take a look here, see that when he grabs my wrist and he feeds crossing towards the center line and he grabs my thigh, at some point he has to let go of this hand, okay, to sometimes post the hand on the mat, get the angle and go to my back, or sometimes he even extends his leg, hipping out, but he has to let go of my wrist at some point. So if I can time that, and sometimes if, he's, if he rushes, if he's not doing a good job, he's not close to me enough, right? As soon as he let go of that wrist, I come on the inside here getting my underhook, right? I'm basically just going back to the same position I was. My arm is on the outside, he crosses. Once he lets go of my wrist, I close the distance, right? Then I can start passing, or if he tries to attack my arm, I'm going to start defending, but at least I defend the arm drag. That's first option, very quick, right? The timing has to be perfect. Second option, he arm drags me here. I'm a little late to put my arm in, but at least once he drags me, I don't want to go to my elbow. Because if I'm going to my elbow, I'm too low, he's already covering my shoulder and covering my back here. I want to land on my hand, right? So, if he arm drags me and I go to my hand, I just pose and I circle around, right? All I'm doing is this. As he arm drags, I go to my hands and I circle around. He arm drags me here, he's pulling me hard towards the ground, but I go to my hands and I circle. Another option here is when he drags my arm, see that at some point here, I can also drag his arm. I'm also controlling his tricep. We are in a 50-50 position here. So we're gonna hit a redrag. He drags me here, trying to go to my back. I redrag him, going to his back. And the final option here, which is a little more riskier, but it also works well. As he drags me here, and I feel that he's already coming on top, I'm gonna pin the guy down here, driving my shoulder against his shoulder, okay? I have the same tricep grip here. I put all my weight on that shoulder there. I can even use my other hand here to pull his arm up. If he tries to go around my back, it's impossible because in order to go to my back, he has to lift this shoulder off the mat. As long as I keep his shoulder on the mat, driving my shoulder on top of his shoulder and pulling his arm against my own body here, he's pinned down. Even if he reaches with his left arm around my back, I should be able to stay here until I change my grip, controlling with this one, keep pulling his arm up. As I pummel my outside arm here, getting my underhook, and then I'm gonna start passing. Right, so it's a little more dangerous because I'm relying completely on my grip here. If I miss this grip, he goes to my back. But as he arm drags me, he's already kind of going to my back. I flat the guy on his back here. He tries to go to my back. I reinforce my grip, shoulder on top of his shoulder until I switch. I'm gonna grab his arm with this hand. Keep it tight against my body as I pummel my arm, getting my underhook. And then I'm gonna start passing from here.